Good evening, Mr. and Ms. Internet and all our ships at sea. Welcome to yet another Freeway Forum here on this, our residence day. Or it's not my residence day, depending on which way you swing. Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, first things first, um, do have to, uh, do have to acknowledge this and uh, my heart goes out to y'all over in Whittier. Uh, that's just up the street from me. And uh, to see something like that, a uh, officer was fatally shot during a uh, traffic routine traffic stop in the city of Whittier, California. Uh, it's a suburb here out of uh, Los Angeles. And uh, yeah, that's, that's right close to home for me. I mean, that's right nearby. goes out to the family and the department there and it's uh, you know, shocking. It's you know, we've talked here before about about uh, you know the tensions between police departments and I should say law enforcement and the public for the Black Lives Matter. Um Contrary to you know, what people like uh, like Jimmy Dore would say, or, or those of his ilk, uh, you know, not all cops are thugs. They're not. There are some good people out there. There's a lot of really good people out there. I've been mean, doing a hard job, doing a tough job, and doing what we take for granted sometimes as a dangerous job. Uh, you know, you never know who that's going to be. stops going to entail, you never know who's going to be in that car, and you never know what they're going to do. And, uh, it's a tough job. The majority of, the majority of police work is very much in public interest. And, uh, it pains me to see when uh, things like this happen, because this is not helping anybody. The dialogue breaking down uh, between the police and the public. That's that's another problem. That's again not helping anybody. So, if it would do any good, I would say thoughts and prayers, but it doesn't do any good. And the only thing that does any good is for us to actually do something about us that is you everybody else actually do something about it. Uh, stand together. Stand together. Work together. And I know it's one thing for me as a, a white male to say, yes, it's stand with our police. I don't have that experience uh, of being targeted by police or being Show on Friday because of uh, 
the Tropical Storm, or not Tropical Storm, uh, Pacific Storm, Lucifer. Uh, I did want to, I wanted to show off the rain. That was, uh, so I did dedicate the whole show to the rain there. Uh, the whole drive home to the rain. And, uh, so we're going to catch up on a few things here today uh, to tap on a lot of different subjects. And I don't have a whole lot of time because it is a holiday. Uh, and so traffic is extremely light today. Uh, so we will fly through as best we can. Um, oh, oh, so the title of today's episode brought to you by the world's worst traffic. Uh, it turns out a survey was just published uh, to, to not many people's surprise that Los Angeles does have the worst traffic in the world. Uh, I'll still argue about Atlanta traffic, though. I, I will still argue, having been in both. Now, in the city of Los Angeles, yes. Okay, the city absolutely has the worst traffic I've ever experienced. Um, city traffic in LA is horrid. It, it is, it's, a, it's a whole other league. Uh, but Atlanta has traffic that's really spread out spread out. Yes, uh, Los Angeles is sort of the, the model for, for, uh, for sprawl. Uh, but, but Atlanta kind of perfected that. Atlanta and Houston, uh, Dallas, those those areas definitely perfected sprawl uh, in the United States. And, uh, and New York was high on that list. And I've signed New York traffic too. New York traffic is no picnic. But New York traffic, uh, you do at least have the trains. Uh, I am far more a fan of, of just parking and taking the train everywhere in New York. I, I have no reason to walk. <laughs> I have all, all the reason in the world to walk. I have no reason to drive once I get to New York. So, but Los Angeles, yeah, Los Angeles is a whole different league within the city. So, it is fairly concentrated as far as, you know, Los Angeles goes. Uh, my commute is not bad. I, I do commute down the 405 freeway. Um, it's not ter This part of the 405 is not terrible. Uh, this is more of the Long Beach side of the 405, or the lower, you know, the Long Beach OC part of the 405, um, which isn't nearly as bad as the 405 um, on the west side of L.A proper Los Angeles. That is a nightmare. Day or night. Any time. Weekday, weekend. It is a nightmare. And yeah, I can agree with that. Um, versus Atlanta. Atlanta's got distance in its community. I mean, LA has distance too, but like Atlanta, you're driving from one side of creation to the other a lot of times. Especially across the top end perimeter, 285 on the north side of Atlanta. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I used to, uh, I used to commute from, where was it? It was uh, Dunwoody, Dunwoody. Uh, so it was right there uh, where 285 and 400 meet. Uh, I used to commute from right there all the way back to Marietta. And I, I didn't really go that far. Out of Marietta, I was I was right off the freeway, right off of uh, I-75 on the uh, on, uh, 120. You get off the South Loop and take the South Loop around the east side, and then jump off at uh, Roswell Road right there. That's where I used to live, uh, and so that was my commute from Dunwoody over there. And I'll tell you, an hour and a half, two hours, easily, easily hour and a half, two hours, any given day. And that's just halfway across 285. I mean, God forbid you live on the other, you, you either live or work on a Gwinnett or, or Cobb County, respectively, or vice versa. Uh, God forbid you, you live in Cobb County and you work in Gwinnett or vice versa. Um, because you might as well just pick up a move at that point. It is just not, uh, not a great situation. And if you're going to be driving across the top end every day, you might as well just get a move really should. It's it's not worth the commute. Uh, for me, though, 
you know, this the South Bay, Long Beach, Orange County 405 experience has never been terrible. Uh, well, I say never been terrible. It's been terrible a few times, but on and on. I'd rather do this every day, and I have. I'd rather do this every day than, than I would rather drive across 25 every day. So, um, the other thing with LA traffic versus Atlanta traffic is you have alternates. In LA, you have a network of freeways, uh, all going in different directions, all going to different you know, all going more or less, you know, you either north, south, or east, or west. Yeah, it's a, it's a checkerboard. It's a checkerboard. It's a, it's a grid pattern. And it works really well to get you to it from very quickly, you know, as quickly as, as you can, as quickly as can be afforded during rush hour. But you have alternate routes. You can go up a few miles, you can go down a few miles, uh, or you can take the arterial roads. Uh, you do not have to take the arterial freeways. You can take, um, I should say, the secondary roads. Uh, the, uh, the, the arteries, of course, the freeways. Uh, but you can take the secondary roads. You can take your uh, your main thoroughfares. You can take your, your beach boulevards and your, uh, your Del Amos. direction. You can't get off the freeway. There's just no way to do it. I mean, well, there is, but it's so roundabout, so circuitous that it, it doesn't make any sense. There's no sense in getting off the freeway because it takes longer to, to go off the freeway than it does to stay on. And I've done it both ways there. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah, so, you know, Yes, LA traffic is worse in an absolute sort of sense, but I really honestly feel like Atlanta traffic is worse in a practical sense. So it's hard to compare, and it's, it really is. You have to get data, you have to compare apples to apples, and you have to break it down to raw data. So yes, in raw data terms, yes, I, I agree. Los Angeles, yes, definitely has worse traffic. Um, as far as quality of commute, Atlanta, I believe, is far worse. And, and LA is, is getting transit options. You, you know, we have we have the metro link. We have the metro sort of. Uh, the metro is building out. The network is building out, and that's that's a good thing. That's great. Uh, and we need more rail. We need more trains. Uh, one can argue we need buses, but nobody wants to take a bus. So. It's funny, people like trains better. People like rail better than they, than they do buses. People will ride a streetcar before they ride a damn bus. Even though it goes the same place. But if it, it, it's on rails, they're going to ride it. Um, oh, man. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's that. Oh, yeah. Went to, uh... Also, uh, I want to also shout out to uh, to our, our neighbors, you know, our world neighbors there in Sweden. I heard about the tragedy this weekend. Uh, last week, I did hear about it. Uh, you know, our hearts, our thoughts, and our prayers go out to you guys. Uh, you know, we've had our share. We've, we've had our share of the Bowling Green and Atlanta. Uh, we've had our share of terrorist attacks lately. Sweden, you know, we, we, we do salute you, we stand with you, uh, we will do this, we will rebuild together, and, uh, 
So that's about all I really have time for today because like I said, the traffic is light, so I am jumping off the freeway now. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, by all means, uh, follow along on Twitter, uh, at Airborne Surfer. Of course on YouTube, uh, Airborne Surfer, uh, youtube.com slash the Airborne Surfer and airbornesurfer.com for all of your uh, all of your grand necessities. Anyway, um, it's been fun. We'll see you next time, and until then, tally-ho, y'all.